Thanks. The Pittsburgh Police Graffiti Squad is trying to figure out who's been spray painting chickens on the walls of restaurants and bars all around town. And it's been happening when the businesses are filled with people. Amy Wattis is live with details on why they're having a hard time finding the vandal. Amy. Ken, that's right. And Pittsburgh police need your help finding this guy. He's accused of spray painting a chicken inside of the men's bathroom at Ruggers Pub on the south side. And get this, police believe he may be connected to other incidents around the city. This is cell phone video from inside the men's bathroom at Ruggers Pub on the south side. A spray painted chicken and other insignia on the wall and mirror. The owner of the bar, Ron Nye, isn't happy. I thought it was dumb, a little angry, a little annoyed. Stuff I have to clean up. Police believe the chicken graffiti vandal struck around midnight December 1st. The male entered um, the bar at a, a little bit after midnight on December 1st. He did order a drink. He's young, 21 years old, and we know he's 21 because he looked so young that he was carded. Uh, he got the drink, he did have a little bit of the drink, then went into the bathroom, came out a few minutes later and left the bar. At that point, patrons reported a strong odor. A surveillance camera captured this shot of the man as he left the bar. A white man with long brown hair and wearing baggy clothes. Police also believe he may be connected to other graffiti incidents in the South Side and Oakland, like the chicken sprayed on this wall at the intersection of Barry and Josephine Streets in the South Side, and a similar insignia catty cornered to Ruggers Pub. Why do you think he's out there doing this? Because he's chicken. Didn't take long to paint over the graffiti. Nye wants to see the man caught. He says he's never had anyone do this in the 18 years he's owned his business. Charges pressed against him, so he quits destroying people's property. And again, as you heard, police believe this man may be connected to other incidents around the city because of how similar the graffiti looks. If you have any information, you're being asked to call Pittsburgh police. We are live outside of city police headquarters on the north side. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.